listening to Accent on TV. Best of Poland and Europe. Right here on LA Talk Radio. Hello. <laughs> this is so unusual way of making the show happen. You know what I'm saying? I like to be there. I always say, I don't like to sit here. First, I don't like my profile. Then that's first and most important. Girls understand that. Okay, we are talking to uh, uh, movie makers. They understand and camera people. The side, they understand bad side, good side. I like talk like that. But anyway, and I don't like to be so important and push buttons. But you know, in a studio, like recording studio, I'm fine with that. But here, ah, I'm nervous, but not anymore. Because I can talk and talk and talk. Everybody knows this. Today, Accent on TV, the best of Poland and Europe. Uh, one more time, we are welcoming in our studio, our friend, Hello. Hello. Jonathan. Yes, Hi, it's Jonathan. a pleasure to be here. Hi, thank you for having me again. Wow, I hope people remember you and remember your friends because I think I had you one once uh, in this place, yes? Once in the, t in the television studio, and we were twice talking on the air. And we're talking about? Uh, we are Today we are talking about Zula the Infinite, a film I am producing uh, made by these lovely people. And uh, we are fundraising right now on kickstarter.com. And uh, so excited. So it's excited so simple to, make this to movie. say. We will be asking for money. Please don't switch and <laughs> the dial or whatever and don't stop and say, oh my gosh, we'll be all about money. Not really. Not really. This will be all about the story of this one, two, three, four amazing, amazing people. They all are from USC. They all have their own dreams. They're on the way into something big, I like I believe uh, most of young people, and they are looking into us, they are looking into listeners' hearts uh, to just help them to raise the money for something very, very special, and you will never know if you don't watch this show. And like I say, Accident TV, the best of Poland, Europe, and the rest of the world brings the coolest people that I can find around. Today, we do not have Marek Bacik with us. He just called me. He had some um, emergency, nothing bad, but uh, we understand and I know everything is fine, but we want to say hi to Marek. He's uh, co-hosting the show from time to time with me and we are missing him. Okay. Wow, I think introduction outside of Jonathan need to be made very officially because today, like I said, I have two very, very special ladies with me. And I am a mother of two beautiful daughters. One is in Brussels doing her magic with very unusual um, newspaper that she put together and foundation that is all about, um, is called Save the Music and her newspaper is called Mea culpa. She's in Brussels, living there, but uh, I'm very proud of her because she has doctor degree in musicology, which obvious is something that probably I will never learn and <laughs> so much studying. That's my older daughter and the younger one study at USC with all these great, wonderful uh, people who are in the studio right now that I believe in education. You know, I was educating myself until the this, this, till this day, the English, oh my gosh, I'm educating myself, <laughs> cannot get rid of, you know, I have blank spaces in my head, but people don't care, seems like, because they are watching and listening, and I'm very happy for that. Then, like I said, Accent On puts accent on very unusual uh, people sometimes. They don't need to have an accent, but they need to have something to say. That I think this is one of those days that we'll be listening to very, very young creative people, and we'll be falling in love with the idea that they want to bring to the screen, okay? Then, okay, that's the, my very good interaction. We have a star here of the movie that will be uh, just filmed in one month from now, four weeks from now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very close to the microphone. We remember yeah, this. That's how long ago. Yes, <laughs> these microphones need to have very, very close uh, touch. Okay, what is your name? I'm Valentina Matosian. What a beautiful name, Valentina. That's a beautiful, beautiful name. Thank you. An hour ago, we had accent on on the radio, then some of things will be repeating, but I know that people also love to see how my guests uh, look. That's why we have camera <laughs> here. And I think we can get even more closely t uh, to our listeners and now people who watch our uh, show. Then, Valentina, you will be starring yes. in Zula. Yes. And you must be excited. And I'm very excited. Because four weeks and not like, uh, you just finished USC or you're still studying? No, I finished in May. Oh boy, yeah. congratulations, Thank lovely you. girl. <laughs> and exciting. And then your very important uh, friend next to you, your name is? My name is Jillian Dudley. And, and I'm telling you, Jillian, one more time, your name? 
Jillian Dudley, and I co-wrote the script with Valentina, <gasps> and I will be directing the film. Okay, yes. and listen to me, this soft-spoken girl, <laughs> I'm telling you, she's one scary, wonderful uh, woman with yeah. so much to Very say, scary. but yeah, mm-hmm. she's, in a way, you think, you see the gentle, beautiful uh, soul, both of them are so beautiful girls, and you think, oh, come on, I don't know what they have to say so important that they even can think that they can rule the Hollywood uh, oh, in yeah. very <laughs> near future. Please, people, judge or don't judge this picture because really both ways you can say shy, very gentle girls, but on the other hand, what a powerhouse here. The two girls are doing the second project together. Yes. And please, yes. Jillian, you just take f- from here and just describe us your dream your first movie how did you did your first shorts how did you wind up to be very very far far in a film festival that everybody dreams about you just say it okay if not i will be talking funky english <laughs> you don't want that okay or J- jonathan which he speaks beautifully but i think is your first I movie <laughs> well, you touched on the fact that this is the era of lady power and i believe it is especially in hollywood um so it's funny i mean i actually when i started making films um i was actually pretty late in high school um i wasn't i'm not one of the filmmakers that can say that i was carrying around a video (laughs) camcorder when i was five but um i have background in music and storytelling has always been a part of my nature and um yeah so i i studied at nyu for a semester um right uh right in high school actually i did a summer semester and that's when I made my first film and just fell in love with film school and, and working alongside just all these creative people my age and getting so excited about the new breed of filmmakers, um, the millennial filmmakers, which I guess sort of extends to this new project where we are capturing the millennial age by telling a story in 2000, which um, I can't think of a filmmaker who's actually been able to to do that yet because you know it's a it's a decade that we don't even think of anymore like we're in 2016 like that's so long ago 2016 years ago like we that's what we that what we knew so Mm -hmm. um I think it's unique that we get to capture that time in our story and um but uh, man uh the first real film I guess uh we made with somewhat of a budget I think it was like five hundred dollars or something like that yeah. Um, outside of school, that is the first project we made um, was called Dahlia's Menagerie, and um, we were very honored to see it go to the short film corner at Cannes. Um, and Valentina starred in it and um, wrote the story with me. And um, it's a very fun, or is it fun? Yeah. It's very, it's a very deep, deep. high concept, con- high concept story, but. Um, we're really excited about this one because, um, you know, we'll have way more money to do <laughs> yeah. it and way more confidence and learning experience uh, from working with these two as well. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of my background. And we, of course, will be coming back and I will be asking some question a little bit more about <laughs> your first movie of years. We'll be going back to uh, describe the story behind the second movie, Zula. But we didn't finish introduction. We have one gentleman that the two girls always g- love giggle when he talks. Hey, <laughs> something <laughs> about you, the girls I love, and uh, you're like, why stupid. do you girls <laughs> love smile See? so much? They they just <laughs> love you, <laughs> or I don't know. It's some really nice vibes uh, in the air. I love it. <laughs> Hi, Brandon. Okay, now what oh, is you your Brandon name? Brandon Winters. Yes, and I'm the cinematographer. Yes, cinematographer. And this is the first time that you work with ladies? No, not. <laughs> well, ladies in general? Or <laughs> these ladies, <laughs> these beautiful ladies. Um, no, not at all. I've, we're, I'm a constant collaborator with Jillian. Uh, we've done music videos and, um, and a bunch of other stuff. Plus, I DP'd the Dolly's Menagerie as well. So Wow. So um, I'm very familiar with the, uh, her process and working with Valentina as well. And of course, uh, Jonathan, um, to me, I, I want to make a big statement because people need to... Uh, understand that I believe people work with people who they like to work with. People Very work true. with the so uh, yeah, surrounding that they feel comfortable with. And sometimes uh, I'm teaching and coaching a lot of wonderful, uh, talented people, and I'm surrounded by a lot of young people too. I love that. And I'm teaching them too um, that you need to be so welcoming mm-hmm. and looking uh, around to open your arms and saying, how can I help? Instead of 
uh, sometimes uh, people are a little bit jealous or they maybe don't wish so well each other or they think, oh, why them, not me? But I think we all have a moment in time that we'll have our five minutes for sure. Mm -hmm. But how beautiful is that uh, all of you are working or we're studying at USC. Somehow, somewhere the roads and are commingling and in the end, you know, if you like somebody and you just feel the right uh, uh, vibes between, you all will be working together probably forever. And uh, I think this is a very important lesson because sometimes people think I can do it on my own. I can always pick from another group of people and just bring them to the, I will pay them and hey, great things will happen. Don't believe that. Great things will happen. It's the beauty of film school, definitely. Exactly. You need to feel the right atmosphere. Uh, Around. Yeah, I think there's two things, at least for me, that go into having a perfect collaborator. And one would be a match of sensibilities. Do you yeah. have the same taste, the same interests, the yeah. same stories you want to tell? Second would be how well do you work together? And um, if you're really, really lucky, you can find the two in one person. Yeah. Um, and then if you can have a team of those people, it's kind of like a dream come true. And yeah. uh, mm -hmm. you almost feel guilty because it's like not work at all. It's like <laughs> <Yeah>. playtime. <laughs> yeah. uh, exactly. And I learned the first time I worked, uh, Dahlia's Menagerie is the film that brought me together with the three uh, the, of the rest of us at the table. And um, in that time I was less concerned I was working as a sound technician I was less concerned about the sensibility question it was not uh, yeah. terribly important for somebody doing sound but I learned on that set that oh if you are three people that I do have that sensibility with and then the partnership uh, equation also fell in line and so yes I feel very honored to to have them as collaborators as, as friends as co-workers so um, we're we're super excited yeah. about this film this is gonna be a beautiful fun uh, really, really great film. And that is always scary because we are saying about dream, we are saying about journey that is I in front of all of you. We are talking about big, big problem because the money is a big part of this process and uh, you all are very, very young. Um, the creativity that you want to just project uh, into our hearts and memories, they require sp special very very hard cost a heavy cost you know we are talking not only clothing and just hey let's go in a park and shoot something this is a story that uh reason is uh, you need the money to just uh, bring cars clothing acting lights yeah. and all is just costing money then where this will be a place the where you'll be filming we will be filming in the mojave desert Okay, it's not easy. No bathrooms we are, are there. <laughs> we are yeah. What do no, you do with no bathrooms? bathrooms? No bathrooms. No electricity, actually. Then you'll be like driving to First Casco? How, how this will work? Porta potties, Porta -potties. Uh, Porta -potties. generators. But you know, I'm uh, laughing, but this is crazy. This all costs like money. Yeah. Yeah. How many people do you think It looks be fun when you see it on the screen, but the making of the film is usually uh, Pretty gross. a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you deal with some, yeah, some inhumane <laughs> conditions, I think. But when you go to Kickstarter, if you can mention the link, name of the link, because that's very important. We'll yes. be asking for any, any uh, money. You know, it's just we know that we sometimes are, two dollars can get you over the hump. We are fundraising for a portion of the budget. Uh, the majority of the budget is out of our pockets, independently yeah. financed entirely. This is a non, the thing with short film is it's an investment in yourself, ultimately, because uh, these are non-commercial projects. There's not really uh, any kind of way to commercialize and, and profit off of a short film. Even great short films are uh, investments in your future, in yourself. Yeah. And uh, that is what we believe in with the script. We believe this is something that is a story other people are not telling. We have not seen these types of stories, female-driven stories, uh, millennial stories, stories about uh, female liberation. These are topics uh, that all scream off of the page. Mm. And we're not seeing these films. And why not? Because uh, this is half of our population. This is now the new generation, millennials. Um, and this is a unique and wonderful story. But again, not a commercial project. We need to invest in ourselves in the belief that we have something that is not being tapped right now. Uh, Star Wars mm. is great. We all love Star Wars. It's coming out. It's uh, We're on the doorstep of that. But uh, mm. there needs to be a place for independent films, uh, stories about heart and soul, real people, identifiable people. And um, we believe that uh, we believe so much in the script that we are largely volunteer. Everybody's working largely volunteer cast and crew. Um, we just want to get the cameras rolling. <laughs> we want to get the props on the set. We want to get the cars on the set and just have something that we can 
uh, really bring to life, just bring this film to life. And so mm. we are mm. raising funds on Kickstarter.com. Again, the film is Zula the Infinite. Z-U-L-A. Uh, Z-U-L-A, Zula the Infinite. We have uh, wonderful giveaways for our, for our generous donors, um, perks, rewards. You can download the film, music from the film. You can get uh, all kinds of fun stuff. You can even so get a necklace that she wears in the film. Oh, props show from me the film. a necklace. Oh, I don't She's have not wearing it right now, but it is a mood necklace. It's a mood necklace. A mood necklace. It changes with your mood, which mm -hmm. was such a fad when we were Mine kids. Mine would be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all the time. <laughs> 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 oh, I just go. Uh, oh, yeah, after a certain age, I'm like that. We completely bought out all which of the necklaces woman, for you guys. Yep. So please. Okay, now we know the name of the movie. I, yeah. I just love, again, the name of this uh, girl. Her name is Zula. How cool. Everybody remembers right now. Everybody repeats. Zula. Zula. <laughs> and hopefully two years from now, we'll be seeing m one hour and 60 minutes. Oh, there will be two hours, but long, long, long well, movie. Well, certainly this... The vision, and, mm -hmm. and Jillian and, and Valentina can speak more to this, for this film is to take it beyond the short yeah. Yeah. phase. The short phase is something that uh, she's talked about, ma delivering a film for $500, almost an impossibility. Uh, we can deliver a short film. We, we're confident we can make a great home, hit a home run on a short film version of Zula, but the vision is certainly to bring yeah. something longer, something more complete, uh, something that does justice to this amazing diverse character that we've created and, uh, and see that audience come to life. as well. It's really Absolutely. hard to see short films. Yeah, yeah. exactly. No, uh, now, uh, we need to know what is the movie about. Uh, that's the story that we are looking for. It? Yes, could we? Yes, we both can just just talk back and forth. I know <laughs> a little bit too, because if you go for the Kickstarter and uh, you will read uh, just and you will see this too beautifully uh, talking about a movie really really well spoken people and you will understand uh, when you read uh, all the story and characters and they are described so so well you almost want to give money right away because you know they know what they are talking about and uh, vision and the characters are very very strong but I like mm -hmm. uh, I don't know we are talking about woman power woman's power it's true, guys and ladies, we need to admit the time is right now for ladies to speak out a little bit louder. Uh, we don't have too many ladies uh, producing movies being a directors. We have a lot of uh, TV shows right yeah. now, which is surprisingly beautiful, you know, very successful ladies uh, on TV. And but there's this myth that we really just uh, frankly need to get past that every time a, a woman makes a movie or it's a female driven, whether by cast or theme, Every time it's a success, it's some kind of anomaly, as yeah. though like, as whoa. though there's no audience for yeah. these yeah. movies. And when we know this is not true, we no. know certifiably this is not true. Yeah. And uh, we decided rather than sit on the couch and complain and throw stones at the television and the computer, let's just fix the problem. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we're it's it's a big it's a big uh, bite to take out and to try and take that on. But we are confident that this is the film that can, uh, for us at least get that seen and get that make people aware of that and so um, again yeah we're just looking for a little bit of help to cover a portion of the budget and our Kickstarter campaign is less than a half of the anticipated budget of this film, and we're about 65% of the way. We're getting there. Okay. We're a Kickstarter so, and staff And only 10 pick. days, I think, yes? About 11 <coughs> days. We end on Christmas, so this is the season. Oh. Uh, this is the season to give. Please, uh, Christmas, yes. And we are, we are hoping, you know, folks who have seen this project, Kickstarter, which has hosts hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of films that uh, for fundraising, has picked this as a, as a staff pick, a notable, worthy uh, film to donate to. Uh, IndieWire, a huge blog about independent film, has has picked this up and has talked about our film. Um, and this is without the help of PR or anybody uh, mm -hmm. promoting that for us. This is just folks who've found this on their own and said, hey, this is something that we believe in. And we're very, very grateful for that. And we ask anyone who's listening today or, or curious, go ahead and check it out for yourself and, uh, and see if you don't feel the same because we do believe very heavily in this film. Wow, now a story. We want to mm -hmm. know the story. Story, story, story. I'll talk story, you talk theme. Yeah. So that's that. Perfect. Oh, okay. I love that. Uh, so Zula's... We work well together. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How else could we have co-written yeah. this? We literally were on... Like, let's do the writing process. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. That's it, very... Yeah, it, two friends it, because you know each other for how many years? Only, only uh, about over a year. Yeah. Slightly over a year. Two wow. years. Two years. Two years? Do you remember the first time when both yeah. of you just met? That's right. Yeah, we actually were um, 
all three of us met at the same film nerds. Well, film nerds. Oh well. What, 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 what did you study at USC? <laughs> I studied critical so, studies, so I also studied film. Critical study film. And yeah. uh, Julian? I'm in the production division for film and TV. Brandon? Uh, critical studies as well. Wow, and Jonathan, of course. I was a graduate student in the film and television production department, as opposed to uh, these three youngins. These magical, were undergrads. Yay. I was the graduate magical, old, old magical man. place, magical place. And again, Natasha is not here. <laughs> Natasha Miraya worked with uh, Jonathan, my daughter, and yes. you you produced a video, music video with uh, her. She helped me produce a music video that I directed for the Pulitzer Prize finalist in music uh, in 2014. That was our first collaboration. And then um, beautiful, and she beautiful. brought me on to direct one that she produced later, a yeah. very special artist that you know. And yes, she Tanya, so artist that's that's right. that some, she was two weeks ago here with her brother. That's yeah. right. And uh, we collaborated on a third music video that I acted in that she produced as well. So uh, it's beautiful. we have a long, long history working together. Yeah, and now Art. Natasha is working at Lionsgate. Lionsgate. That's she her made dream it. place. She made it. Don't uh, forget us, Natasha. I, th I think the USC is the magical school. And uh, congratulations, first and foremost, that all of you are so talented and smart and bright. Then now we are coming back. Both of you met, three of you, a year and a half ago only, yeah, yes? Yeah. Was it we, two years ago? Two years ago. Oh, two. Oh, wait. Wait. How did you both start Losing to write memory. together? And when did it start? Like, oh, 12 at night or like in we, lunch? Film festival and yeah. Canvas 24 hour film festival. Yeah, and we had to make a horror film well. with, we had like two words that we had to incorporate in our story. And so we. I know the you words. You can watch that. The yeah, words you were can like. Watch ah, it. Ah, it was. Uh, <laughs> I would want to, to no. uh, scream. We had to use a hot dog as a, a prop. Hot dog. It had. Did it have to be horror? I don't think it had to be it horror. It didn't have to be horror, but oh we made. We chose horror, and then what was the log? The log line had to be. Uh, it, we can't even remember. Anyway, the titles called "Swallow the Swallow Night." Swallow the night. Swallow the night. Swallow the night. And we all. It's a uh, horror noir type yeah. thing. Direct. We all co-directed, yeah. wrote, created. How long? It. The movie was four minutes. Yeah. Four minutes. Okay. But yeah. we won best cinematography, Jeez. which yeah. we shot on like a T three I or something <laughs> yeah. like that, and and um, what else did we? Do? And then we best won picture. best picture as well. Yeah. yeah. No, then the first movie came. So yeah, yeah we like <laughs> yeah. we actually <laughs> met making films together. Yeah. So that was beautiful. Um, um, Zula process of writing. Oh my goodness! It Zula? was yes. Zula. Oh, Zula. What is Zula? Yeah, you yeah. Can start and then I'll talk about themes. Yes, please. Zula give us the story is behind it. an 18-year-old girl who is very, very sick and tired of her small humdrum life in this desert town of Ashlake. Um, because she so desperately wants to escape, she steals m uh, mail uh, from the post office. This is the year 2000, by the way. So mail was still an actual thing. <laughs> um, so she'd steal mail and, and open it, and she's always... She hoards it in her room. Mm -hmm. It's this, it's obsession, really, truly. Um, but yeah. she can do this, of course, because her father is the postman. So uh, it's this interesting dynamic. Um, but ultimately, she actually finds a very mysterious letter that uh, leads her to the uh, very mysterious woman staying in the motel across the street. And um, they form a provocative friendship that mm -hmm. leads to escape, hopefully. Yes. We'll see very well done so it's kind of a yeah it's a, it's a drama very female driven um takes you uh, try not to spoil things it's really no difficult. you are not uh, yeah. yeah it's very important it, to know if we have 18 years old girl who in a way is little unhappy very in her unhappy. own skin yeah. in tiny place and yeah. like i got mentioned before with jonathan just so it happened that this small town but this can be s your room that you cannot get out, you yeah. know, and yeah, a situation totally. that you are in, that's me uh, reading deeper into uh, what I will get out of your movie. But um, she has a choice in life and mm -hmm. the being uh, stuck in 2000, and we were talking a little bit about the 2000 was pretty, pretty important yeah. year yeah, for everybody. Important. You can go deeper into Millennial it. generation. Yeah, and uh, then, then you have a choice what to do stay where you are or leave or leave and this is a time where i mean it was, she's in a sleepy desert town i mean i don't picture her with very good cable signal television nope. signal <laughs> um she steals 17 magazine subscriptions from the she post office eats her chapstick she, you know she's not she's not connected to the world out there but and the so mail is, is right a very there. quirky way of of the way that she does find 
meaning and, and enter to somebody else's life. life. Um, importance, but um, of course I want to know more, but I cannot ask because <laughs> I can yeah, we get have out everything. I oh. should mention our awesome co-star. Yes. Um, yes. Stephanie Butler um, is she's an amazing. incredible blessing to us. She's been amazing. Um, she's going to be playing Ramona, who is the woman in the motel, the runaway in the motel. Please, everybody, go and see her picture. She's also very, very beautiful, beautiful lady, very and very talented, talented, great, so, so talented. So honestly. talented. Um, we're so excited <laughs> to work with her. Then you have Mama and Daddy, and yes. we have a yes, we have Zula's Eugene and Mama Mary, and which are also amazing actors. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, we're still still finishing up casting on <laughs> Eugene, but we have some great people in mind. Yeah. But Mary, her mother, is uh, Mary Joan Negro, Negro mm -hmm. who actually teaches at, at USC. USC. Oh, yeah. Gosh. Um, what a connection. Fabulous lady who taught you. Yeah, she <laughs> was my acting coach. She's taught me everything. Tony, I, right? She Tony, got, to, Tony? She got a nominee? Tony, didn't she? Yeah. Or she was a no Tony nominee? Yeah. She went to Juilliard, first graduating class of Juilliard, and she's just an incredible teacher and one of my mentors. She's kicks your butt, but in like the best way. Yeah. yeah, I had the pleasure. <laughs> One of my students also finished Juilliard, and she's amazing singer. Then, and it just education, parents, if you are watching, <laughs> if children have this unusual vision, say, "Mommy, I want to be filmmaker," <laughs> and mother is like, "Ah, why not to be somebody else that pays bills right away?" You just say it, sweetie. This is the place, and the world, and your country is the place that you can dream and become who you want to be. How can I help? I really believe parents need to just, just let these young people be who they want to be because sometimes in the beginning it's not about money. It's sometimes $500 and get you to Cannes, to a uh, film festival, yeah. and who yeah. will think? Uh, it's like 10 to 50 pizzas, days. you know, and yeah. it's just, it's, it's, it's petrifying to think that you can stop somebody from achieving uh, the best in fast uh, time or just help them. And that's why we are here today. We want to help this beautiful, for, uh, wonderful, young, creative people to just create the film, the short film of their dreams, and hopefully it will turn into a long length uh, film. Then mm -hmm. again, the Kickstarter name? Zula yeah. the Infinite. Kickstarter.com. Uh, we have really wonderful rewards that we've thought of to, to make donating fun and uh, really involve you in the process of the film. Um, so yeah, we love our donors. We thank them for their generosity. We have about uh, 48 folks, I think, at last I checked, that uh, have pitched in. And again, um, We've been picked by Kickstarter.com, their staff, uh, as, a, as a noteworthy project. IndieWire has, has talked about our film. And um, we're so grateful for the attention we've gotten and are just looking for that last little push. I, I think we're about 65% mm -hmm. of the way there. Yeah. Just need a little bit to get us over the hump, and, uh, and we're going to have something great to show for it. So, so uh, if you yes. believe in independent film, um, if you wonder why does Hollywood keep making all these sequels, keep making the same stuff all the time, it's because... Uh, we need the support to, to show them an alternative, to show them that there are people interested in other voices and other other uh, types of stories, other types of characters, real life, women-driven stories. Uh, and, and in one swoop, Zula mm -hmm. the Infinite it's just can- just opportunity. Yeah. And we, we will be uh, mm -hmm. watching 18 years old girl going through unusual life changes and I don't know, like all of us, don't know where this will take, the story will take us. But 2000, everybody remembered the children or themselves maybe being this year, and the world was different, less scary. Like we think about Super our time. parents' parents' lives, they seem like really nice and colorful and 60s and so beautiful and ladies gorgeous and stuff like that. But we have our own memories, and you all are very young. 2000 was not so long ago, yeah. but it was different. The oh 16 yeah. years yeah. makes so sure. Everything was different, fashion, yeah. music women, women yeah. <laughs> technology oh my god if you yeah. check out our website actually zulatheinfinite.com we actually designed it and you're gonna be like oh my gosh i'm back in windows 99 yeah it is uh, a very fun website that you can navigate through it, again yeah. it looks like windows 99 yeah it literally a clever, looks a like clever way to utilize the old website of the yeah, yeah who really was creating the website time. I made it actually. All announced. God. Yeah. Yeah, we are talking creativity. Website this builders, is like it, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, but you know, if you, need, if you let people to feel like they're in this yeah, uh, in that yeah, world. 
in this world. Yeah. And it wasn't so so long ago. I still have battle of champagne from 2000 because it was so important year. Of yeah. course, I was singing some Beverly Hills, whatever, uh, for important people. And I had this big bottles, two bottles of champagne. And always I wanted to try. I never opened really. But he still did. 2000 is written oh, because we're special made year. for this occasion. Uh, 2000 was like yesterday, but so much is happening and we are getting older, wiser, but the young people, you know, not only 2000, right now they have the same issues, small town, choices, living life like mother, probably, being mm. mom. Not wanting to, yeah. Not wanting to, and it's, <laughs> I don't even want to say, it's, it's just really unusual. I just wrote a message to one of my producers who is coming from Europe right now to work with me, but another person two days ago from also from Europe sent me unusual email say you know we would love you to write the uh, lyrics to uh, English lyrics to some one of my songs for very known lady in Europe I'm like okay that sounds great and they send it me description what the song supposed to be about you will never believe <laughs> I can translate is about young woman who doesn't want to be like mother mm -hmm. watches in a mirror and see you know life similar similarities and yeah. she for sure doesn't want to it's our theme song. Be there. Yeah, it's very exactly. unusual. Uh, yes, very unusual. I just got and downloaded the version, European version, Polish version, and they want to turn this into oh, America. Cool. Uh, very, very unusual. Um, but this is uh, woman perspective, what I'm saying. You know, I see my daughters, two daughters, like I said. Uh, they have their own uh, life issues, and making the right choices in life is so scary. Even when you have education, when you have people who are helping you, still one bad one, one not, not right one, changes your life sometimes forever you know then uh, is she alone who will be making this decision somebody will help her to uh, make decision um well this woman who comes into town definitely helps her and what i was going to say is it's interesting that your song deals with that yeah. but it's it's this issue is the issue of being human of finding who you are finding your identity if you have one what it looks like what what you want to be and what you are and melding those two worlds and this woman Ramona really gets something out of Zula and drives Zula to do things that she necessarily wouldn't previously and yeah that yeah. people that are stepping into our lives it's still I don't want to know what's happened but fact <laughs> is that all of us they are welcoming sometimes into our lives people who can shake us to the ground and yeah. sometimes we will be doing under their wings a good or bad one things that we never thought we we, we could or for better or, or for worse, for yeah, worse. We, we've said a lot about this being a female driven movie uh in the year 2000 which both things are true both things are crucial to the specific identity of this movie uh but it's also like you've said uh, a very human story very mm -hmm. relatable i am neither of those things and i read it and was very engrossed in the in the story yeah. and it's ultimately it's a coming of age story yeah. something we can all relate to it's a bit of a road movie a travel movie Definitely. uh Definitely. literally and also we're bringing a mail truck in the desert yeah, yeah that's <laughs> a, a set piece <laughs> that is going to be a lot of fun uh, <laughs> please uh, people let's go to this uh, kickstarter uh, page of zula could you repeat please. zula and the read, infinite scroll down it's so well written all and the set. infos on one there. more time because i talk over you no i'm sorry problem. one more time i talked over you i think kickstarter.com zula the infinite is our film uh all the information is laid out there uh where are we putting our budget why do we need this money why is the story important to us uh hopefully we'll answer all those questions on there but uh this is an investment in ourselves in independent film in uh women's film in a millennial story these are th these are things that we really believe are not represented right now we cannot turn and say well here's one that did it well um not that we're the only ones out there but we would love to be the first ones out there we'd love to be uh one example of of stories many such stories that need mm -hmm. to be told and will eventually be told and mm -hmm. uh we're we're just looking for the little push to get us over there and, and bring this film to life i think and it's going to be entertaining happen. for a lot of folks um I'm I'm so excited to bring this movie to life. I really am. Wonderful. And we had, uh, like I said, uh, Jonathan before with his movie. 
Yes. Uh, one more time, the title yes. of the movie? Uh, we were last year for Occam's Razor. It was an awesome gothic horror movie. We shot it in the summer of 2015. Uh, we made our goal. Thank you so much to your listeners and everyone else who backed that. That film is in post-production and is almost ready for the light of day, uh, or the dark of the cinema, maybe. <laughs> uh, but we will, be, we will be sharing that with all of our, the donors who... who qualified for download there and playing the festival circuit soon so I Occam's have, Razor uh, like keep I your said, eyes for that one teaching at uh, Los Angeles um, uh, art uh, performance conservatory in Santa Monica they have 60 seats theater and probably you can the screenings there too is so charming it's in the middle of Santa Monica I think people need to have easier way of uh, entering from the street places there are in Europe you have this I was yeah. talking a few days ago also with one of my friends who just came back from uh, from Europe and they say so easy to access the art and theater yes. mm. on yeah. European streets totally. you just have no mm -hmm. this fear like oh they will suck me in for how long because you want to after a while yeah. you teach people to not be afraid of you know totally. just go to the left oh something is there going let's see what's up you can always leave <laughs> but mostly you will not then i had a pleasure to watch uh, picasso very very beautiful uh, play uh, in this theater J just mesmerized two people on the stage kept us for hour and a half and we never focus then I know the very independent unusual uh, films they have the same magic and we need to give these people a chance then one more time everybody repeats Zula, Zula. Zula. The the infinite. Infinite. and I want to believe that accent on listeners and watchers or our beautiful people care because I have a lot of filmmakers who are coming here in six days I will be singing some Arabic ad-libs uh, oh, on yeah. uh, another track for very unusual movie that is silent movie. Then oh, silent movie, wow. 70 minutes si silent movie, and is made in seven years, through seven oh. years. And wow. the director was here, oh. and he magically he also puts the bestest people that he dreams that they will be part of this movie from Hollywood, really good names, really good names, and he just slowly, slowly doesn't rush it's the process. He just believes so much in his project, 70 minutes, no word. Uh, mm. vocalist, my yeah. vocalist, if they will insert in a movie, I need to prove myself <laughs> in Arabic, oh, d different ways, but I will do a good job. But anyway, it's just so much uh, greatness around us, and I think the TV a reality show is not only the one way, although I am guilty of that, I'm watching this funky <laughs> stuff too, but fact <laughs> is that also now when my child is working in uh, Lionsgate, we are watching very beautiful, unusual movie, which are not yet released and that's our uh, breakfast or before dinner time you know to watch unusual movie there that Lionsgate is releasing so amazing uh, to see these things in the making then if you can tell because we were start uh, we were talking about all of you three of you met and then um Jonathan came to the picture with his sound uh, working with on the sound and but the writing the script writing I want my things, you want my things, I want this, you want that, no, this dialogue, that dialogue, no, no, she's this, no, she's that, uh, no, 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 the probably no is the, the most important word, saying no, like this. Who had the power to change the storyline, or how both of you got to the agreement where this lady, girl, young girl will go with it? I swear, this is not a lie. We never had any issues like no. that, ever. Wow. And you created I mean, a human only, being. Like, best friends yeah but like <laughs> we really never had that issue mm. at all and i mean i know that that's no no unique beautiful. and i know we'll continue writing and uh, yeah. who knows i mean that stuff is normal but uh, we didn't have that yeah. and it's just been so wonderful we oh. literally got back from can because she she came with me and it was so much fun, Super fun. um <laughs> we came back and we were like all right let's let's do that idea we had a year ago yeah when we were getting green tea lattes <laughs> and exactly. like let's do it and we like made a goal for ourselves like we're very schedule oriented and we met up every tuesday yeah. maybe even tuesday friday yeah. for a very long time you know we were both on summer break so yeah, we met you were every both studying week. the same time yes it was in the summer yeah. yeah yes i she had just graduated but yeah. i'm still a junior so we wow. we were just meeting up every week and but who got make this girl stealing the letters whose stealing idea it was letters? that's what she would be doing Zula. like stealing letters Zula? Zula. Who, who found okay. this idea okay that's what she will I, be she will be like 
I take think I don't remember when that idea game. came about, but I, I always that. knew. I was actually driving around Echo Park. I think now I'm no concept of time. It was before <laughs> I was friends with you, uh, before I met you. But I I remember seeing a little boy and his dad riding in a mail truck together, and he would have his son help him deliver mail. This is Echo Park. This isn't like a, you know, (laughs) tiny little town. But I was like, oh, my gosh, that kid, like, knows this route. This kid, that kid knows every single house and, like, you know, can know, can open their mail, can know so much about that person. Yeah. And it was so fascinating to me. And I don't think I right away thought, oh, I should make a story about a girl who steals mail. But I definitely, the first thing originally was that relationship between a mailman and his daughter. And um, so that image of the post truck with them together, I think, was the first thing. And and then Zula just became a more interesting character as we talked about it. She became darker and more layered and and more confused with yeah. who she was. And I think that's kind of what, like both of us were just like, who is this girl? And we don't know if she even knows who she is. And we always say Zula's the perfect combination of both of us. Yes. Hmm. And not necessarily, we're, we're not, I, I don't know, our inner whatever. Yeah, our desires. Yeah. Um, to create a beautiful yeah. and lovable probably person because we need to like this le- girl and what she's going through yeah. and to believe that that's really uh, what happened in her life. And Same thing with Ramona, the other yeah. character. I mean, I think we, it she's wasn't intentional. We weren't like, oh, let's like yeah, look no, into no. ourselves and make, but it was like, whoa, like look I would us. totally yeah. do that. Like I would <laughs> totally feel that way if I was in this town and stuff. So week by week we were meeting and then... When our first draft was done in August, which was our goal, and that was the really long really one we long sent one. to Jonathan. Um, <laughs> and, you know, and then it got cut down and cut down, but the vision was still the same. So yeah. One of the things that, for me, makes Zula such a great character is that even though I'm a man and I'm almost now twice her age, the character's age, she represents to me almost like a what-if story. Mm-hmm. Had I been born in a sleepy Will nowhere ghost now? town and I had no one I could identify with I've always been a little weird maybe is what pushed me into the arts and I imagine I never had an outlet for that I never had people to talk to about that I never had people who exactly. shared those passions yeah. exactly what Especially would I do how would I know who I am or what I like and I presume in before the internet was so ubiquitous that would be some kind of little spy work yeah. some kind of like trying on the identity of somebody else exactly. trying on the name of a stranger because yeah. i found Become this. somebody else he's not suddenly yeah there's Hawaii something to that that God, connects me really outside cool. and i yeah. and and a short film needs to have a scope outside of that or else why why tune in and this film is so pregnant with that uh, that i loved that character because she is trapped but she does not accept that she demands to be bigger and outside of that and that's a hero for anyone and she's like an avatar for any audience member and i loved that they cr- were able to create that and it's so so rich and, and we had a moment when the, uh, the two ladies were just talking and they were feeding of each other and just discussion was so naturally free and uh, likable <laughs> then i think uh, the movie probably will show the relationship because they it's just like each other <laughs> and <laughs> la- i cannot yeah. make more point of it that people who work and like each other and they wish the best for their own project probably the project will be very very good yeah. brendan we also need to talk to you because you have a <laughs> lot of saying about how how we'll be perceiving the the 2000 and a little maybe not <laughs> they always See, they love him. They make this beautiful <laughs> gentleman just uh, laugh. But yeah, you have a vision <laughs> also. Your vision, what will be the part, uh, the stronger point uh, w- when you come to the picture? What do you want to make uh, of it, of yourself in this movie? Um, well, I mean, to sell the time and the place, I mean, that's all in the image, obviously, uh, and production design. Um, but I think I just want to... I, other than locations and having the right atmosphere for Zula, I think I want to really bring um, her internal um, emotions kind of to light with how we frame shots, how everything is go, goes about. I want to really kind of tap into um, how she's feeling in a moment or how any uh, another character like her dad may be feeling in a moment. Um, and I think that's what's really important to me. And then the rest is in the beautiful locations we'll hopefully have locked down. 
Hmm. But yeah. And your beautiful pans would and tilts and yeah, <sighs> ups and downs. Pole focuses. And wow, will you be shooting at night also? Yeah, we'll have some mm -hmm. nights. And we have a very dark night. shot of her lurking outside of a motel. Yeah, we got we got it all. It's gonna be a wide variety yeah. of shots. Then, if I may introduce one more time uh, our guest uh, for everybody to remember the names. Who I believe we are making big change right now. Maybe in the in their lives, uh, we help. We are helping a little bit. They will do the rest, but we all need a help. We all need a help on every. In, in our life, every moment. If somebody asks you for help, probably they need one. Then it's so easy to just just give somebody this uh, this moment of attention or moment of money if we have in a bucket. Just say, how can I help? Don't wait for return. They all promise some returns, which are very, very unusual. You can even play in a movie. You can be even an actor or right. mm -hmm. uh, an extra. Uh, extra. Yes. It's just, just they open their hearts and minds and they say you can be one of us and we'll be so thankful then that i believe we need to help we need to help and i know we will then jonathan again what is your name i am jonathan mauer i am the producer of zula the infinite brandon brandon winter cinematographer for zula the infinite oh, no, <laughs> julian so dudley co-writer and director of zula the infinite valentina matosian co-writer and actor of zula the infinite and because we have like maybe three more minutes before our show will end, I know everybody has a wonderful parents and grandparents and the role of uh, people who in the beginning are helpful and they believe in <laughs> us, they need to, like yeah. I repeat, I am the mother of Thanks creative mom. children, <laughs> then we need to just say how important parents are and grandparents and family. My mother is a donor of the film and yes, she is she a is. complete advocate and champion of everything I do. So you're the best. Love you, mom. Thank you. Thank you. And my lovely aunt, who is also a donor and Aww. also my champion. Aww. Wonderful. <laughs> Brandon, do you have people that uh, you think you can say the same? Yeah. Are you? Yes? Yeah, parents yeah. do? Of course. Of Aww. course. Everyone that supported me. Not everybody so has far. great parents. Trust me. We yes. are lucky. Yeah. Yes. Most we supportive parents stand behind everything. Great friends that have yeah. shown up for yeah. all friends of us. Friends as well. Thank Just you very amazing. much. Amazing. Yeah. Incredible. It really like gives you a new hope in humanity. Crowdfunding is an absolutely beautiful thing. It really, I can't even imagine what it would be like if we were making this movie and it didn't exist. Is this not the social last? Social media didn't exist. Last like word is the pure, is just the creativity, film, music. Is this not the last that people really, they really cannot live with these two things, watching movies and just listening to the music. Maybe you all are not understanding how big power you have over people's lives, emotions. Maybe Definitely. we need to scream much louder about it. I will give you the good things, but you need to also respect that without the help, we mm -hmm. cannot you know, express ourselves, then is this the cleanest that's way? The, that's the only thing, honestly, yeah. that gives me the confidence to come and ask uh, anybody, particularly a stranger, to yeah. donate to a film, which is such a passion, like we would do it for free, yeah. and we do, yeah, yeah. yeah. all Our the time, but constantly. the only thing that gives me the nerve to, to go out and, and actually ask somebody, I would never ask for anything else, but uh, we so truly agree with that concept. This is how socially we understand life you grow up in front yeah. of the tv in front of media and uh quick statistic i hate to s I'll bring it up because it no. hates i hate to say it but six percent of films in america are directed by women and that is a number that uh we're trying to change and yep. and uh 30%. anyone and 30 percent of mm -hmm. speaking roles in all films only 30 percent are women and that's less than a third so uh, yeah. and this we, is like 90 percent women yeah, yeah. so so <laughs> yeah. we really believe and it's just a great story it and is. you don't have to be outside a woman of to the movie it. take it from me <laughs> Just uh, we, we really do believe in the virtue and the validity of donating to a project like this. And if there's anybody out there uh, who has anything at all, we are so, so, so grateful, yeah. so gracious. Uh, thank you for considering. Yeah. And last time, the music. Music, please. I know, Brendan, you know the band and uh, somehow <laughs> you <laughs> really describe beautifully uh, the music that is yeah, the soundtrack. Second, second Cousins will be doing the soundtrack. Check them out. Um, Bandcamp or SoundCloud. Um, second, second Cousins. Um, and they are an uh, indie folk rock uh, band from San Diego. Um, and they're all multi-instrumentalists -instru -instru uh, who will be able to create uh, the mood that we want. Mm -hmm. Which you like so to speak talented. more to. So talented. Amazing. Um, and they're from San Diego one more time, yes? They're yes, they're from San second Diego. Cousins. Second Cousins. And uh, if you go on the Kickstarter uh, and type in Zulia Infinite and click the video, you can hear uh, an instrumental to one of their 
past song was called Mirror. Um, it wasn't composed for the video, but we And this will be like 15 minutes probably as combined music or how long they will be playing this, no, this in this one, 17 minutes short film. They will have not too much or? They will be scoring it. So They'll be scoring. Through ah! and through, you will yeah. be hearing the beautiful melodic tones of second Some cousin. And the style of music, if you may uh, and repeat, is the And the thing is, though, you don't have to wait that long to hear them. They, yeah. or just go to their band camp. We actually will send to you, if you donate, $15 gets you the full EP, their first album. And if you donate $50, um, we will also, what else do we have? We have... I don't know what else. 50, Fifteen dollars gets you the single. That's gotta, what it was. Fifteen dollars yeah, gets you the single, and fifty dollars will get you the entire f- album. We should talk to them about doing a concert at the screening. But I would yeah. love for them That'd to perform fun. as well. That would be really They're cool. Um, and and the ideas, if people know uh, places and great uh, places that people can just gather and listen to the music and see the screening, it's just they want to talk. They have a di- open dialogue, and I think if we will feel like we are part of what's going on here I think will be welcomed and mm-hmm. that's why I'm so so happy to bring Jonathan and all the friends uh, and creative people to accent on because without music without art we are nothing trust yeah. me and I think this is uh, the good point to just end our show for today love you for watching and thank you thank so you much you if so you much. wish yeah. download the show yeah, and yes. watch yes. all yeah. over and listen to young people talking you can go to archives, early talk radio archives, watch us on YouTube. This show will be, is live, but will be uh, for, to watch and download over and over if you wish. Also, Accent On on the radio is on the Stitcher and on LA Talk Radio and what? iTunes, of course, podcast. Hey, we start being everywhere. Thank you so much. One more time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're listening to Accent on TV, best of Poland and Europe, right here on LA Talk Radio.